do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. All right, y'all, we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, today, we got something a little different. Today, we're going to watch the top 10 government projects that ruin lives. Now, I don't know about you, but I, the whole government thing, I know they be doing some fishy things, you know what I'm saying? They be doing some some weird things, some weird experiments on some, some desperate people. I'm assuming how it kind of goes with these things is that they offer them some type of money to be like test dummies or like you know they be testing on rats all these different cures and all these different whatever the heck it is you know what i'm saying but they need human s test subjects too so they take people that's in dire need of money they offer them some money to just be a test subject and just come take this injection in their arm real quick and see if they die or not or turn into a, 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 a metamorphosis elephant or something crazy like that i don't freaking know but we're going to watch this I'm curious to see what the heck going on in here, see what type of things the government has been doing behind our backs. But, um, yeah, if you're excited for this video, smash the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and hit the post notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop these bangers. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you cop yourself with Jurek. You can buy two and third free bun lumps, it's up to $50. And without further ado, let's hop right into this, man. Today, we are looking at everything from unethical tests performed on innocent humans to people being tricked into experiments. Okay, Buckle Lindsay. your seatbelt, it's going Okay, let's see. Let's see. Why are your eyelids like your, your eye things? Like, never mind. It's going to be a wild ride. Starting off this countdown, we have the Weipholm experiments. This was a series of experiments in Sweden from 1945 to 1955. It's literally going to make you sick to your stomach when you find out what they did. Basically, they force fed people with mental illness sweets to see if sugar was related to tooth decay. Imagine people just cramming food down your throat against your will. It's very gross. These experiments were conducted by the government and sponsored by the sugar industry. The experiments lasted for about two years, and by then, the teeth of about 50 of the subjects in the experiment had been completely ruined. In our ninth spot, we had Wait, the Wait, but why UK did they force like, mentally ill people to do that? That that's just taking advantage of people. That's what what was the I don't get that. What was the point of that? I don't understand it. A special demonstration squad. This is the name of a group of undercover police officers in the UK. Now the things that they did are going to shock you. For example, they would steal birth certificates and identities of people that had died at a young age. They'd make sure that they would be around their age and then use their identities. The younger the person died, the better, because that means they didn't already live a life that they would have to cover up. And then they would go around with this new identity. Some cases they actually got into relationships with women, but the whole time they did so just to spy on them. In November of 2015, the Metropolitan Police Force apologized to seven women tricked into relationships by these officers. Like imagine that, dating someone you're madly in love with, sometimes even having a kid with them, only for them to be like, oh, sorry, gotta go, I was only dating you to get intel on you and your friend circle. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, 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 so many questions, so many questions. So why did they steal their, what was the point of them having to steal identities though? Couldn't they just, they're just regular people, they're police officers, but they're regular people. Couldn't they just go and get involved with these women and spy on them regularly without having to, where did the whole stealing people, dead people's death, birth certificates come from? That was just such a random, a random step, a, a pointless step in their plan to spy on, and why are they spying on just random women? Like, like, and seven of them? What about the other women in the world? It's like a hundred billion trillion gazillion of them things. You know what I'm saying? It's disgusting, and it's actually happened to multiple women. In our eighth spot, we have the radioactive waste. Apparently, there's a huge radioactive dumping zone located in Tonawanda, New York. In fact, they dumped more than 37 million gallons of radioactive waste from their World War II atomic bomb tests. This area has a high rate of cancer and thyroid conditions, and this is the reason why, and no one's talking about it. In our seventh spot- That's crazy. I'm suing the government. We have the hepatitis tests. In 1956, the US government began running tests on young individuals living at the Willowbrook State School in Staten Island. This was a state-supported institution for children with intellectual disabilities. And what they did to these students was give them hepatitis in order to track the development of the viral infection. Of course, they were being experimented on without knowledge or consent. 
To make matters worse, the study lasted 14 years. They also injected them with a number of drugs to see what they would do to their body and the hepatitis. Imagine intentionally making a group of people sick for an experiment. The grossest part is that when the government was exposed for this project, they tried to justify their actions by saying that these people were probably going to wind up contracting it anyways. In our sick spot. Bro, that's sick. And the thing that this, the, the crazy thing about all these stuff that she's saying is that you don't even have to think twice about it. Like, you know, this is real. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be like, no, our government wouldn't do that. Our government loves us. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that. And why do they keep doing it to like the mentally ill people? Are they just like, easier people to trick? Like what, what, th this is horrible. This is really bad. This is, this is really bad. Today we have Operation Popeye. This is another very wild one. Operation Popeye was a highly classified weather modification program during the Vietnam War from 1967 to 1972. You heard me correctly. The government learned how to control the weather. They be doing that now. I know that. they be making these natural disasters and all that because they try and get down the population or they try and they try to um like mess up certain neighborhoods, get people out of certain neighborhoods. You know what I'm saying? They, they be I'm telling they be doing this the other stuff now. I'm telling you right now. Basically, they wanted to increase rainfall in certain areas to prevent enemies and military supply trucks from being able to travel. In fact, they caused a number of landslides and flooding in that area. Weather manipulation has since been banned from use for military gain. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with HIV. In the 1980s, the HIV epidemic broke out. No one knew how it spread. They just knew that it should be. They was injecting that with people. Same thing with that C, that C thing that y'all be talking about these days. You know, they be do, they do this stuff. They do this stuff. They have a bigger agenda. They do this stuff. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. They do this stuff, bro. Weird, and tons of LGBTQ plus community members were sadly contracting the virus. Well, rumor has it that HIV was a government experiment that was meant to wipe out the undesirables. Of course, the US government has denied this claim, and it's just a conspiracy. Ain't no conspiracy. That's some real facts right there, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. This stuff is crazy. We don't know for sure, but based on the other experiments done on minority groups, it's hard to know what to believe. In our fourth spot today, we have Project 112 and Project SHAD, or S-H-A-D. Project 112 and Project SHAD took place from 1962 to 1973 and involved a number of veterans or military personnel. Basically, both tests involved exposing these people to substances they might want to use in warfare. Nearly 6,000 people were exposed to Coxiella burnetti, which is Q fever, Staphylococco enterotoxin B, which causes food poisoning, and sarin and somin gas. Sarin is a very, very dangerous nerve gas, and somin can cause death in minutes. Both can be fatal if only the tiniest amount gets on the skin. These men had no clue that they were being exposed to That's the, it's just, this is crazy, and it, the fact they do all this, like, it's, and I, the, the, uh, you watching this video, you don't, it's not like, oh, the government would never do that. You're not thinking that in your head right now, and that's bad. The people that's like in charge of the country that you live in, you don't even trust them to not do this this sickness. And that's crazy to even think about. This. Moving on to number three, we have Project Sunshine. This is another very messed up government project. During the 1950s, the US government was using stillborns to conduct radiation tests on. They wanted to determine the effects that radiation would have on humans and how much we could withstand in case of a nuclear fallout. They called this Project Sunshine, and it was anything but rainbows and sunshine. What's sad is that the government was stealing body parts and tissues from morgues without family's consent. It said that more than 1,500 samples were gathered worldwide. This is incredibly sad and sick. Coming in and that's so horrible, bro. That is so horrible. That is this. That is really, really bad. Like this, just stealing. First of all, she started off by saying they're stealing stillborns. Like that's that's babies that was born dead, right? And they then they said that they go on the graves and like dig. Imagine you going to visit your grandma, your grandpa at the grave site, and you realize, wait, they're not there no more. It's like they 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 grave just got dug up or something. Like that's, and they just stealing the bodies just randomly because they, 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 the government, they can do whatever the F they want to do. 
Number two, we have the syphilis experiments. In 1932, the US Public Health Service created an experiment to see the health effects of untreated syphilis. But the test subjects were told that they were receiving free treatment to cure their syphilis. And that was a lie. Instead of giving the men the recommended penicillin treatment, they gave them placebos, like aspirin. Sadly, 28 men died of syphilis because of these experiments, 100 more passed away from syphilis-related complications, and 40 spouses contracted this disease. And 19 women who gave birth passed on syphilis to their newborn children. In 1997, Bill Clinton apologized to the survivors and their families on behalf of the government. Apologize? Are you serious, my guy? What did the Evelyn apology go do? They just started generational diseases. But, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that really fixed it. Thanks, President. You're the best. Come on now. Let's be realistic, man. This is crazy. And he admitted that the tests were, and I quote, profoundly and morally wrong. And in our number one spot today, we have the radiation tests. In 1953, a number of tests were done on pregnant women to see the effects that radioactive iodine would have on them and their newborns. These studies were terrible. In one study, researchers gave these women doses of iodine-131. Sadly, they all miscarried. When they did, they continued to study the women's aborted embryos. Another study took place after World War II. 829 pregnant mothers in Tennessee were given vitamin drinks. They were informed that these drinks would improve their health and their babies. But it actually contained radioactive iron, and the researchers wanted to see how fast the radioisotopes crossed into the placenta. Several of the young passed away from these experiments. Four died from cancers as a result of the experiments, and the women experienced rashes, bruises, anemia, hair and tooth loss, and cancer as well. Meanwhile, they just wanted the best for their babies and thought that this drink was going to help them not kill them. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. It's pretty dark, not gonna lie. Pretty dark and messed up. But let's move on to our comment shout out portion. Comment shout out, comment shut up. Comment shut up. Bruh, and the thing is, you know what I'm saying, all these different things, and she she brought up all the, all the studies that they did years and years ago, 20, 30 years ago. You think they stopped? Like, realistically, do you think they stopped? Like, I'm... I mean, I know stuff. I know, I know stuff. I can't make videos about all the stuff I know because then the people go come after me. I ain't scared of the people, but it's just like, I know stuff. You know what I'm saying? They not stopping them tests. There's multiple different things that they're doing as tests. And y'all go hear about it 50 years from now, 10 years, 20 years from now. Y'all gonna be like, oh, I was part of that test. They really messed this up. And then the president go come out, oh, we're so sorry to all the families. And blah, 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 blah. Shut up. You know what I'm saying? That just pissed me off. Y'all let me know in the comments down below. Do y'all do y'all do y'all trust y'all government? Like if you don't trust, like that's really the sad thing. Like the people that's like on the head of the country you live in, the place you live in, you don't trust. Most people do not trust the government at all. Like there's probably like three percent of the people in this country trust the government. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's just wild. Even if they didn't do all of this stuff, you know if they didn't do all of this stuff, the fact that we don't trust them because of just the things that they have done. And proven to have done a lot of things she said here that they actually apologized for. That I mean, they actually did it. That's sick. That's disgusting. That's horrible. And they're still doing them. This, I'm sure there's hundreds of other worse things that the government has done. <sighs> y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below, bro. Like, I, I don't think this, this is crazy. That's why I'd be so iffy when the government be saying, like, when the government giving out them free, the, the, they, they paying people to take them thingies. You know, you know what thingies I'm talking about. They paying people to do that. Like, and you trust them? Come on, bro. Some name, some name right about that. I give you that much. Since when does the government care about you? <sighs> Anyways, I ain't mean for this video to get all like this, but I, it just, I just had to. I, I'm curious to see what y'all think in the comments down below. Cause this is freaking crazy. But um, yeah, that's where about the end of the video. I'm gonna see y'all. Out. Hey yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline. They choose I, cause I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.